A Conway couple's been decorating the Grand Strand with stained glass for almost 40 years. Well, now they're working on a new project, all while teaching people around the world about their unique craft. WMBF News Today anchor Lauren Korn and photojournalist George Hansen share their story in this week's This Is Carolina. That's an old toolbox. It's about 50 years old. Creating stained glass is a labor of love. That's what I mean. Thank you. You're welcome. And these lovebirds have been cutting. It's actually the most important part. And cutting it up. How does it feel working with your husband? And then Today going home Today it feels good. <laughs> for 38 years. I love it, actually. I was making George laugh. It's really great because we can share everything. We work really hard. Barbara and Ed Streeter own Conway Glass, offering restoration and repair work and a gallery full of colorful, hand-blown glass creations. We do bowls and sculpture and uh, blown glass and stained glass windows. We specialize in ornaments. We also specialize in public art, uh, art installations for like gardens, public gardens. So I'm putting in the little design. The Barbara little says you can find their favorite works of art at Brook Green Gardens. So I'll make all these lines straight. That is until now. This is Kokomo glass. The colors that we're using, Lauren, are colors that don't need any light to make them work. This is the second window. Ed unveiled their latest masterpiece in the making, 12 stained glass windows for Drunken Jack's restaurant along the Merle's Inlet Marsh Walk. The panel showing off the vibrant colors of a sunrise and sunset with a rope border tying the theme together. These are our photographs that I work off for my drawing. The duo shows off their area of expertise. While Ed skillfully cuts the glass. I could put a little clove oil in this. Barbara uses a special powdered enamel to paint, one pane at a time. So right now I'm just testing my brush size to get the stroke that I want. When the streeters are not making glass art. Welcome to the RDRV glass channel and the live Q&A. They're teaching it in person and on RDRV, their YouTube channel. Yeah, welcome everybody. We've got a great night lined up for you tonight. We I have met so many wonderful people from everywhere. It's amazing, isn't it, Ed? <laughs> I just got a letter this morning. You did? Maybe we can help her. Letters of gratitude and appreciation for an artistic skill that the streeters hope will leave a colorful mark for generations to come. And we get to enjoy that. And we get to, our grandchildren can enjoy it. And hopefully our great-grandchildren. It, it makes you feel really good that you're doing a piece of art that people can go see. And it's going to stay there for, I mean, forever. And the streeters tell us their Merle's Inlet project should be done by July. If you'd like to learn more about stained glass or when to book a class, just find this story on our website under the This is Carolina tab. And as always, if you have good news to share, email goodnews at WMBFnews.com or message me on Facebook. In the studio, Lauren Korn, WMBF News.